April 1st preliminary Atlantic hurricane season forecast. This is the one I made. As you can see, there will light, we are predicting an above average hurricane season, possibly well above average, for the Atlantic basin. Now, as you can see here, we are expecting Cape, tons of Cape Verde hurricanes, well, at least a few, for the Atlantic Basin. Season, not really, doesn't, doesn't really depend on this, but it can significantly have an impact on the overall number of storms in the Atlantic hurricane season. But I think, overall, she would be um, most of the time limited across this region, this area. So I think there will be the perfect setup for Cape Verde hurricanes much of the time. And then hyperactive between in, in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean to the Caribbean. We might be seeing a very active point in the season, but most of the time it is going to be active. So possibly hyperactive at times here. Now in the Gulf of Mexico and much of the Caribbean, we have our extremely active peak. That means there might be the, a ton of storms at the same time in this region at the peak of the season. And then we don't expect much here just south of all this because it is close to the equator and usually nothing really happens here throughout the season or some little does. Above average here in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, that I'm possibly just going to suggest that there will be more hurricanes than usual traveling rapidly over this region. And then our wild card here, it's just kind of going to be a surprise to see what happens along the U.S. East Coast. There will probably be definitely a few landfalls on the East Coast. But overall, I'm just saying this is going to be a wall, like, kind of a surprise. So don't be su again, don't be surprised that if you do see a ton of, a couple of landfalls in your area. Because it's kind of going to be tricky to guess over here. Not tricky, but just... General, it's just going to be interesting to watch. Now we have our sea, surface sea temperatures forecast for the month of June in the Atlantic Ocean. As you can see, overall this basin is above average in temperatures except for a few blobs. One by the east coast and the three further off into the sea. Also a couple right along the South American coast. Not much has changed, but some the blobs are getting weaker. Well, yeah, blobs of colder temperatures than usual. And then the South American and blob is also, well, South American coast is still there. And as you can see, August 21, the basin will still technically be warmer. And also heading into the other months, it will remain like that. And again, just give you a little more detailed explanation of the months. Sea surface temperatures is one important ingredient to tropical cyclones. And since that is warmer than normal, this will be very favorable for the development of tropical cyclones during hurricane season. And also September 2021, some cooler than average temperatures are, are seen near the Britain coast, or around Britain, as you can see there, and also over here by South America, Colombia, Venezuela, and then also the blobs right here as they kind of show back up. Yep, and on October 21, it's kind of just expanding, but most of the basin overall is still above normal, at least a little bit in temperatures in the sea surface. Now we have our cold blobs again. It's kind of warming back up over here, just north of Britain, in terms of anomalies. And then the entire time, the Gulf of Mexico Caribbean will be above normal. 
and also by Cape Verde, although we can't rule out the possibility that, at times, below average air sea surface temperatures between there and Africa, mainland. And now we have our sheer anomaly forecast for the month of July. As you can see, the blues are below normal shear and the oranges, yellows, and reds are all above normal shear. As you can see, much of the tropical Atlantic is expected to have below normal shear for this time of year, with above normal possible in the far north Atlantic and also off the northeast coast, and also by Cape Verde and African coast. With the Gulf of Mexico, the Caribbean, and much of the tropical Atlantic and South American coast, so we we'll all expect to see below normal shear in July. Now we have our, sh our shear anomaly forecast for August. And as you can see, some of these areas are seeing above normal shear once again. Caribbean, most notably, seeing below normal temperatures. Also, middle of the tropical Atlantic, with possible some above no some shear in the Gulf of Mexico and also near the South American coast and also by Cape Verde still. Overall, this year is expected to erode by Cape Verde, which will favor hurricane after hurricane across these areas. With the her main area of shear now is south of the south of Cape Verde, and also oh. Oh, the shear is kind of lower values across the Gulf Coast. And now, lastly, the month of October, we have much of the, the East Coast and Gulf of Mexico below normal shear and also above normal South American coast and also Cape Verde again. But it's still not going to affect the hurricane activity over here because there will probably be a C couple storms in October in the in the Atlantic specifically, especially here. Though I think September there will be a lot of, like tons of hurricanes in the Atlantic. Specifically, if you were to okay, I'm gonna draw an arrow. Say if you go from. So yeah, there will be a few good examples of hurricanes that originate in the Cape Verde region. So then it were, it could go to the Atlantic. Hold on, I'm going to see if I can make a curve. Okay, no, I can't. Okay, so it, can kinda, it kind of goes like, yeah, this. Something like that. Okay, thanks. Okay, guys, thanks for watching today. If you guys would, would like, I would like you guys to subscribe to this channel and like my videos for more weather content. Otherwise, have